Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are going to discuss today uh, probability, and this is uh, video lecture number five. I hope you have already watched part one to part four before watching this part five. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some problems. Uh, what we have learned the concept on the basis of the concept, we will discuss different type of problems so that we will be able to understand it. So let us start today, and uh, we are going to discuss from the on the basis of uh, on the formula that uh, probability of a union b is equal to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b uh, this is what the formula that we will use today and uh, <coughs> on the basis of this formula we will discuss some questions so only a if there is written only a this is what uh, try to understand a few concepts more about it that only a if somewhere where it is written if there is a and b are two events and uh, we have this is a and b so if this is a and this is b then this one is only a means this area if suppose there is written somewhere only a it means this area they are talking about this area right so only a is this area <coughs> only a means this one right so to uh, represent this area means only a those which is not present in b but present in a that is only a so this one is described as uh, this one only a right so only a means if they are written only a or a but not b not b in that case probability of a minus probability of a intersection b that you will need to calculate similarly only b if there is written somewhere only b it means probability of b minus probability of a intersection b only b is this one and uh, this uh, middle one is described as uh, this one is a intersection b so this area basically is described as a intersection b so that is a probability of a intersection b right this is only a and if somewhere ask it is only b then we can calculate it like uh, this is uh, only b so this region is described as only b and uh, this region is described as only b so whenever it is written only b you will understand it like uh, only b is this one only b is this one this is described as only b this one is described as only a and uh, this one is described as a intersection B so that is only A right I hope you got it okay now uh, the things are here um, that can be described again on the basis of this is on the basis of this is like uh, this is A intersection B right so this is nothing else but A intersection so let us start from the questions and questions from the exercise you know already that mutually exclusive event and then uh, for mutually exclusive event a intersection b is equal to 0 so whenever it is written we will uh, discuss it now we are talking questions from the exercise and that exercise 16.3 the very first question given here that is question number one which of the following cannot be valid which of the following cannot be valid cannot be valid assignments of probability assignments of probability assignments of probabilities
so where will he teach? Assignments of Prof. Webby, he teach. For outcomes of simple. For outcomes of simple. Simple space. A space S is equal to omega 1, omega 2, omega 3, omega 4, omega 5, omega 6 and omega 7. Assignments are given here and their probabilities are also given. Assignments means omega 1, omega 2, omega 3, omega 4, omega 5 omega 6 and omega 7 like this and probabilities are given here in first one very first one the probabilities are given like 0 0.1 0 0.01 0 0.05 0 0.03 0 .03, and 0 0.01 and then 0 0.2 and 0 0.6 since sum of all these, sum of this is 62819 and this is 3 plus 5, 8, 1, 9, 1, 10. So total is 1. So since here, so the probability of W2 plus probability of W3 plus probability of W4 plus probability of W5 plus, plus probability of W7 is equal to 1 and therefore, it is a valid it is a valid distribution because total distribution is probability distribution of probability distribution of probability right it is one total probability is one and therefore it will be a valid distribution of probability now the second part of the question is given here that 1 by 7, 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 and 1 by 7, and 1 by 7. So total probability sum is equal to here also the sum of <coughs> this is also possible since here PW1 plus PW2 plus probability of W3 plus probability of W4 plus probability of W5 plus probability of W6 plus probability of W7 is equal to here 1 plus 1 by 7 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 is equal to 7 by 7 which is 1 and therefore it is a valid probability it is valid distribution valid distribution distribution of probability distribution of probability right i hope you got it so now third question is here and the third question is given here like okay the third question is given here C option that 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 and 0 0.6, 0 0.7 here if the sum of all these is greater than 1. So it is since sum of all probabilities is greater than 1, since sum of probability probabilities of different assignments different assignments is greater than one is greater than one and therefore it is not valid distribution valid distribution probability cannot be more than One probability cannot be more than one.
<coughs> right so that will be answered now in uh, fourth one it is given here that in fourth question um, d part that is d part basically so 0 0.1 minus and 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 and 0 0.3 0 0.1 and 0 0.3 although some may be but uh, one but here the probability cannot be negative so probability of any event cannot be negative and therefore this is not valid argument since probability of probability since probability of any event since probability of any assignment assignment cannot be negative cannot be negative and therefore it is not valid distribution not valid distribution of probability valid distribution Now fifth part of this question is fifth part and that is given here that is E 1 by 14 plus 1, 1 by 14, 2 by 14, 3 by 14 and 4 by 14 and 5 by 14 and 6 by 14 and 15 by 14, 15 by 14 probability of any assignment 15 by cannot be 15 by 14 probability of any assignment probability of assignment assignment p w 7 is 15 by 14 given which is greater than 1 and therefore it is not valid argument not valid distribution of probability no probabilities right so a answer these are some answers so one first and second are correct rest of them are not correct i hope you got it okay so now question number two let us see question number two and question number two is there that a coin is tossed twice a coin is tossed twice coin is tossed twice what is the probability that at least one tail occur what is the probability that probability that that at least one tail will occur at least one tail will occur one tail occur one tail occur So here we can write solutions like coin is tossed twice so simple space will be 2 to the power 2 that is 4 right now. So number of elements in simple space will be like this and simple space will be you know that h h h t t h and t t. Out of these favorable cases are at least one tail it means h t t h and t t all are favorable these are favorable so number of favorable outcomes are 3 right now number of favorable outcomes are 3 and therefore probability of an event is number of favorable outcomes is 3 
and probability as per definition probability of an event is nf by ns that is 3 by 4 and that would be answer i hope you got it now question number 3 <coughs> Third question is given a die is thrown. Find the probability of following events. A die is thrown. A die is thrown. Find the probability of following events. Find the probability of the following events. Following events find the probability of following events first a prime number will appear a prime number will appear will appear second a number greater than or equal to 3 will appear <coughs> a number greater than greater than 3 or equal to greater than or equal to 3 will appear greater than or equal to 3 will appear third one is a number less than or equal to 1 will appear a number less than or equal to 1 1 will appear appear right and the fourth one is fourth part of this question is a number more than 6 will appear a number more than 6 will appear right these are few questions and a number less than 6 will appear and fifth part is a number less than a number less than 6 will appear appear right so solution can be like Simple space when die is thrown, simple space can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Isn't it? So these are total simple item in simple space, age 6. For very first question, age solution, very first question, a prime number will appear. So favorable cases will be 2, 3, and 5. Nf is equal to 3. And therefore, probability of an event is nf by ns, that is 3 by 6, which is 1 by 2 answer. Right? Now, the second part is, <coughs> second part, a number greater than or equal to 3 will appear. So, in that case, favorable cases will be greater than or equal to 3. It means 3, 4, 5, 6. So number of favorable, therefore number of favorable outcomes are 4 and hence probability of an event is nf by ns that is 4 by 6 that is 2 by 3 will be answer. The third part of the question is, you can see that the third part of the question is given the number less than or equal to 1. Number less than or equal to 1 less than or equal to 1. Less than 1 can be 0 but 0 is not possible. So equal to 1. Only 1 is there. So therefore number of favorable outcome is 1 and hence probability of an event is nf by ns that is 1 by 6. Now fourth part of the question is fourth part of the question that they are asking a number more than 6 will appear number more than 6 will you find any number more than 6 no so it is an empty case so impossible 
it is an impossible event number of liberal outcomes is zero so as per definition this is nf by ns that is zero by six is zero which is impossible event impossible event or null event or null event i hope you got it now next question a number less than six number less than six so favorable outcome will be one two three four five six all of them are less than six a number less than six will appear so six will not come right now number less than six will appear so in that case six will not come here and uh, number less than six means all one two three four five are favorable but not six five are favorable so here number of favorable outcome is five number of favorable outcomes are five and therefore probability of an event is nf by ns that is five by six which is also so i hope you got it all these things now let us discuss some more questions uh, from the next page and uh, these are some questions like question number next question that is hmm. question number four question number four a card is selected from a pack of 52 cards card is selected from a pack of 52 cards pack of 52 cards find probability of how many points are there in simple space a how many points many points are there in simple space in simple space second part they are asking what calculate the probability of the card is an s calculate the probability that card is an s of the spread <coughs> calculate calculate the probability that probability that the card is a the card is an s of a spread an s of a spread so in that case the second part third part of this question is let us discuss c part and c part is calculate the probability that card is calculate the probability the card is the card is first an s an s and second black card black card to understand this you should know about what is the distribution of cards so let me explain the distribution playing card playing cards these are 52 playing cards are 52 so these are 52 in number and uh, all these has distribution like we can have there are two type of cards right there are two type of cards and uh, I can say <coughs> they are further distributed in this is two type of cards let me describe this so let us learn about the playing cards and playing cards are 52 out of them there are two type of color there are two colors red and black red are 26 half of them are red and half of them are black and uh, red are further divided into a uh, suit two suit uh, one suit is called uh, 
sweet uh, is called uh, diamond another is heart and each one of them is 13 and 13 similarly black cards are divided into a sweet uh, one is called um, a spade and another is called club the nature of the type of cards just for recognition i am going to tell you that this type of uh, card is called diamond and uh, heart you know better way that is heart and a spade is like this a spad is like this this is the card which is called a spad and club is nothing else but like this uh, this is type of card is called club so you know each one of them are 13 numbers and each uh, 13 card of one suit are further uh, divided in this way that is s first is called s which is written as a symbolic form a and then 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and one card is known as jack represented by j queen q and king k so these three has some photographs on it and so therefore they are called face cards s is one so one into four one s for each suit so there will be four suites so there will be four s Similarly, 4, 2 is 4, 3 is 4, 4, all these numbers are 4, 4 jack, 4 queen, 4 king. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, these are called numbers card. And uh, 9 card, number card in one suite, so in 4 suite, this will be 36. Face cards, because these are uh, 3 cards have some face, and therefore, 3 uh, cards in each uh, uh, suite so four suite has 12 face cards and uh, apart from face cards all of them are called non face cards these are 14 numbers so number cards are 36 each card s4 jack4 queen4 king4 etc now uh, come to the question and what is the question how many points are there in simple space the answer is 50 because there are 52 cards so any one of them may come out so solution of uh, first question is unless is 52 because there are 52 cards any one of them may come out right so any one of them may come out and therefore this is 52 now uh, they are asking about the calculate the probability that uh, a card is a spade s of a spade so s of a spade a spade is here and how many s one s spade uh, of s so here favorable outcomes is only one and ns is 52 so therefore probability of event is 1 nf by ns that is 1 by 52 this will be answer and the third part of the question is even here that uh, they are asking about third part of the question is Calculate the probability of card age and S and black card and S and black card. So for C part, A, B, C, this is C part, um, C part, C part, the first part of C age, and s so number of favorable outcome will be 4 because there are 4 s you know that there are 4 s so 4 and probability of that age then uh, probability of that age ns is 52 you know because every event is going to happen out of 52 cards therefore probability of event age nf by ns that age 4 by 52 which is 1 by 30 right and the second part is black card so here how many black cards are there 26 half of them are black you remember and therefore probability of it is nf by ns 26 by 52 that is 1 by 2 also. so i hope you got it all these things right no problem and uh, similarly we can discuss some more questions uh, you will try your own first thereafter we will discuss so i'll be back up to break until then you try to solve some questions thank you thank you very much god bless bye bye